Hey there, Pilgrim. Daddy might not be here, but I got my harmonica. A harmonica? Oh, you don't want a harmonica? How about a nice lottery ticket? <laughs> yeah. I think I would really rather have the harmonica. What my campaign? Uh, dear Heavenly Flu. Dear sir, what's your name? <laughs> right. I'm the harmonica highway. But listen here, Pilgrim. You can call me Hob. Oh, excuse me, Harm. Uh, who's that? Oh, that? That's just Boca, Big Hot Sons of the Eagles, I'm solidly protecting me. Smogging two doors. Make my spell back in small, but my soft skill large. Let no fear into my camp. Let none gain my hard skill. Away I say to the dead dog fest. My flunes, oh my flunes. Is that a ticket? Would you weary one believe you are in the land of the ticket? My old tickety dick. That reeks terribly of impropriety in terms of tickets. Mayhaps. Once upon a fine ticket. Tick, tick, tick. I was a man. A pilgrim such as thee. <laughs> pilgrim sees a pilgrim. No longer. <laughs> LARPing saves lives. LARPing? Has one lost their blue sheets? Are thou cross cast? Have ye crunched the dice, Baba? For the love of fruit. I don't know, though. Your manner of speech is rather peculiar. <sighs> Ye really are weary, Traveler! <sighs> Quite. Where might we make course towards lodging? A warm supper? Aye. Ye shall get your victuals. on these dreary streets. 
Thanks for playing. which I certainly left in my other carriage. Hmm. Suspicious behavior? I don't mean a cross-cast. Oh, <laughs> 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 all right. Come on, Earth Lawrence. Fuck up already. We're trying to win some coins. <laughs> ah, fine gentlemen. <laughs> Do you not find yourselves concerned? We have a ticketless floony among our patrons. You lose your ticket, you lose the right. You lose your ticket, you get out. You shan't produce evidence of your ticket, and you shall have your day in hell. Fine, fine. I'll go. Do you know your ticket number at least? <laughs> oh, how I wish Rat Boy were here, that I might share some of my meager porridge with him. Oh, you met Rat Boy? Cool, man. He's the Muscota, man. A Muscota? 
What's that? You got any more pottage dollars? Man, everybody knows nothing around here works the way it should. Hunger man like myself can't even get a square meal around here. These some real dry LARP lands. Why, I'm afraid I have nothing else to spare. What is this, Muscota, you mentioned again? Whole lottery's rigged, man. The whole thing's rigged. Rigged? Everyone in this whole town's got a ticket and no one knows what to do with it. If you ask me, whole thing's rigged from bottom to the very stinking top. I mean, what do you give people who are already in paradise? I mean, just look at these folks in this bar. They wouldn't know what to do with a winning ticket. They're blind. Look at Mrs. Rochestershire. <laughs> Come in, Mrs. Rochestershire. <laughs> And look at those foonies out in the streets. They're lost deep in that butter sauce, brother. Grito, Grito, that's a good one! That's if only I could be one of those Bluto's. But the stuff makes me sick to my stomach. You gonna finish that? Uh, ha have it here, sir. There's some fine pottage. Mmm. <laughs> you know what my problem is, Peregrina? I got my clutches fastened to this here ticket too tight. <laughs> you better keep a close eye on yours, sister man, or you could end up like one of them ticketless foonies. Babbling all night out of them furry lips. Uh, okay, I'm afraid I must retire to my quarters for the night. Alright, okay. Falling, my thoughts went out to those poor mascotas in the stream. How were they any different than a lost pilgrim with far more sordid accommodations? My lingering fear of losing my ticket mingled with sorrow and empathy for those lowly creatures. Whatever shall I do with this unfamiliar, befuddling world before me? And what of the lottery? Should the winner surely be afforded such luck by the simple picking of a lot? Such questions trouble my mind and disturb my sleep. I must now retire until tomorrow. Good night, dear confidante. Boas! Boas! 
Hey there, pilgrim. Have a show on this fine lottery day. You roll the five. Step right up. Alright, let's go to the show. such a forgetful pirate, you're lucky you still have a lottery ticket, or else we'd throw you in a cell and let you rot. Yeah, I lost my compass. So did half my crew, and they were all fucking naval beast of captains of the ocean. And I'm saying waves upon waves of people who lost their compasses. So. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, trying to get to the front here. Hey, you're here? Got your ticket? Oh, me too, man. Hear ye, hear ye. As for the case, three, two, four, five. We've identified oh, no is that a Frere one unit? To uh, the complaint. It's a Frere one unit. What are you? Of you the here? Oh. McKinnis Cole wishes nine <laughs> subjects. Uh, is that normal? There's a twenty-five percent decrease in criminal activity in the land of tickets. Thank <laughs> you. 
one monopoly. <laughs> Oh man, this is the best part. I love it. Long ago, in this place, across the days of yore, when this land of tickets was still unnamed, the original builders sought to form a society that corresponded to the order of the mode. In this, the original lottery was created as a faultless system of sortilage by which the module's will might be enacted. Now, each denizen of this land was given his fair share of ticket, and the land was so named. And each week, a winner chosen by chance of this lucky lot that, that a fulfilling campaign might be sponsored. Yet, the land be fair. One day, a shadow began to lose. Hey, wait a second. Oh, oh. some pot edge and cheese. You, you haven't eaten a thing all day, my, my lady. You need your strength. Oh, oh. Hey! 
Hey! Burgerina! Burgerina! You should not have taken the speed to horse. For Ace makes waste the forest and glade. A little rest? All your deeds had better not stay. Punish your little thoughts. And remember, vermin make babes in furious numbers. This is a society of number lovers. Is that you? What have you done to me? Where am I? Mistakes. Milady, we are a zone of purification. We shall be provided all means of a burden. Oh, I can't look at you. Are, are you all right, milady? She shunts me away the path to me. The viper poison of the ticketeers still burns a mean and stinging brand in my mind. I shall be watching thee, snake woman. My word, what a horrid and terrible place. The disgusting sordid quality of the surroundings. These mad creatures that have abducted me. I would never become one of them. I would never sink myself so low as to be one. I understand now why the land of tickets has banished these horrible citizens. Wait, well, where's my ticket? Oh, please, give me my ticket. Oh. My dear ticket, where is it? M milady, we have not taken but a, a thing for you. Milady, that ticket trash is but an unfortunate introduction to the freedom of the flu. We have relinquished our ticket. <laughs> but I'm not relinquished our I'll accompany you in. Get a piece of this here paper mache on the clay. Most excellent, my lady! Most superlative, indeed! Mm. Mm. I thought you were the animal faced companions. I need my peace, I promise you. As for the benefit your presence gives us, we are merely pleased that you deign us with it. Mm. I say, do you not often have yes, is it your turn? I apologize for the offense of my previous behavior. Mm -hmm. mm. No, it's you! And none taken indeed, my comely lady. Realize the scare we must have given you. I humbly request that I might be reprieved of mine 
for her needs. It surely was for the best, my lady, that we have removed you from the cruel fingers of fiends. Lowly Mascotas 
and allow us to stay in accord with thine forces. Please, my lady, have 
after you! Soon be with thee, little Darwin. Make haste to thine quarters. Oh, Senior Boca, excuse me, I but lost track of the moon. You see, Peregrina, the sole reason we pitched this camp was because we strove to hone the laugh forces, guiding the flow of the floon communing within us. Yes, though it's been years of concerted effort, we have only just begun to see the attainment of our initial goal. We have tamed our animal natures curved our unseemly appetites. We have built, as you can see, a humble and peaceful community amidst most terrible turmoil. Setbacks befall our every step. If the flunes had not ordained and blessed our every undertaking, we should have surely been lost long ago. People revile and fear us, yet we bid them no ill. We flew folk are kind creatures, a crude appearances, talking testament to our piety, our lack of vanity, and other sinful defects. We ask for nothing from them but our peace and a paltry plot of land, yet they deny us even that and drive us from our very door. Freaks, they call us. Funies. Do we not also deserve liberty? Ticket or not? Are we not beings of flesh and blood? Who reason? Who dream? Who laugh and cry? <laughs> So miserable, yet your character, so shining and pure. You are truly a noble creature. I think you, too, are worthy of love. Why dost thou deny thyself that still yet? The flunes prepareth my path. I am a shepherd before my flock. But once... I, I could not have helped, but love, a maiden so comely and blue such as thou. <sighs> Forgive me, Peregrina, though I am a chaste man of the floon, I once had fantasies. Dreams of raising my own litter of pups. These hallowed halls reverberating with their precious crystalline laughter. <laughs> I dream, perchance, upon a dream. I see my dream fulfilled in thee. <laughs> oh, well, um, I think I can begin to see uh, to what you refer. These discussions being ever so enriching. You have been so very gracious to me. I fear, however, Something in me need to protest. How could such a system ever come practically into being? I fear it is not the same with me, for I am a wanderer. I see. My 
Show me some damn determination. I got fucking stomach cramps and ulcers in my fucking liver. Kidney stones out my fucking... <laughs> Looking at your wrinkly ass faces. Fuck! Get to it, soldier! Something most regret 
Gente, bro. <risos> Ai, sim. Ai, sim. I foresaw something like this would happen. But, alas, the flunes have ordained it. And so, it must be. You are forgiven, Judah. My closest disciple. But please, leave me again to my prayer. Let them lion furry faces lead you out astray again, did you? Impossible. I have secured their location definitively for your pleasure, my liege. Our plans cannot fail. The flumies hide in the woods just ahead. I better talk to these trunks then. You better be leading me right, you runt, or I'll chop your legs off and make you hop around. Hollywood. I know you didn't come all this way to listen to me yap. We're here to waste furry folks. Am I right? You know, I ain't much of a motivational speecher, but let's like give them hell, right, right? We don't want these freaks like hanging around all the cool spots, do we? Who knows where they pee, right? Let's get them! Thank you. 
What have I done? My liege, we have done as you have commanded and successfully decimated the Mascota encampment. Very few casualties on our side reported. But at what cost? back then. Just fucking kids. We didn't know our asses from our elbows. We just run around back then. We were only cubs. We didn't know any better. Rough housing, hobby horses. When it came to fucking around, none of it was too dumb for us. We were fast friends, me and him. From the beginning, me and Boca got the sense we just weren't cut out to be knights like everyone else. We knew early on we were different. We made a pact one night to be friends forever. After that, I got so darn tied up in my work and Boca and his persuasions. Eventually, we drifted apart, man. It got to be so I almost didn't recognize him in the street. There was something different about him, about the way he looked. But now I realize, maybe, Maybe it was really something different about me. 
something you can't quite see. find what you was looking for in that there <laughs> log land. You know, sometimes love, hatred, pride all get mixed wild right up together. <laughs> and you get yourself a mess of a picadillo. Tasty as anything. Speaking of Picadillo, I ain't had a good supper around these parts in weeks. Reckon it's about time I headed on out of here. <laughs> yep. I suppose it's time to saddle up and hit the old harmonica highway. Hey, little lady, when you want your bonnet there, get all wet. How's about you load that trunk hindward? Come right along. Yeah! <laughs> 